Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, the latest Apollo audio interface from Universal Audio. Let's get started. Today we're checking out the Apollo X4, the latest member of the Apollo X family. Now, the Apollo X4 offers a wide range of flexible I.O. capabilities, plenty of onboard DSP processing power for running UAD2 plugins, as well as a comprehensive location for you to access everything you need for tracking sessions as well as mixing sessions, whether you're working in the studio, working remotely, you're a songwriter, a producer, a composer, or an engineer, you're going to love this audio interface. Let's check it out. The Apollo Twin X is a Thunderbolt 3 based audio interface. It connects to both Mac and PC, and on Mac it is also backward compatible with Thunderbolt 2 and Thunderbolt 1. It features 12 inputs and 18 outputs. The inputs are arrayed as four XLR quarter inch mic and line inputs on the back panel. We also have an optical input on the back panel that can be configured for stereo spit-off or 8-channel ADAT. That gives us a total of 12 inputs simultaneously. On channels 1 and 2, we can also access high z inputs on the front panel. The mic and line inputs as well as the instrument inputs are all Unison enabled. This means that you can load Unison plugins into those channels inside the console software. Those Unison plugins emulate vintage hardware preamplifiers and apply those characteristics to your incoming signals. So you get the feel as well as the tonality of a vintage preamp when you're tracking through the Apollo X4. You can load up Neve, Helios, API, a wide range of different vintage preamps and get those sounds when you're tracking with this unit. We have six line outputs on the back panel. The first set is dedicated monitor outputs. Outputs 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 can be used for additional alternate monitor outputs and those can be switched from the front panel or you could use them as straight ahead line outputs for accessing external gear. One addition to the Apollo X4 that's very useful is that it also has an 8 channel ADAT optical output. In addition to the optical output, we also have two independently addressable headphone outputs so you can have two separate headphone mixes going simultaneously along with whatever you're feeding out of your monitor outputs. The Apollo X4 gives you complete control over everything you need for tracking and for monitor control right here on the front panel. When you're in the preamp mode, you can step through the four preamps using the preamp button. We can set the input to line or mic level or by plugging into the front panel it'll go to instrument level. We also have a high pass filter, 48 volt phantom power, a pad, polarity switching and we can link into stereo pairs. Channels 1 and 2 can be linked and channels 3 and 4 can be linked. For controlling preamp levels simply turn the large knob. When we switch over to monitor control we can access the monitors headphone 1 or headphone 2 and again we have level control for each of those using the large knob. We have a built-in talkback mic with a dedicated switch, a dim control, alt control, which switches us among those three separate sets of stereo outputs, a mono switch, as well as a mute switch. So we have complete control of everything we need for our control room right here on the front panel of the Apollo X4. The Apollo X4 has four shark chips built in and these allow you to run all of the UAD2 plugins. It comes with the Analog Classics Plus bundle which gives you a wide array of plugins to get you started mixing and then you can add additional UAD plugins as you like. You can access those UAD plugins from inside your DAW or using the console software when you're tracking. This is very useful because even when you're tracking through plugins in the console software, you still have near zero latency. That's the beauty of the UAD2 platform. Speaking of the console software, inside the console software, we can set up sends and returns, we can insert plugins, we can insert those Unison plugins, and this is where we can also create our headphone mixes as well as our monitor mixes. The Apollo X4 combines a compact desktop format with plenty of I.O. capability. Having four microphone preamps allows you to get a lot of work done using this unit, and of course you can expand that using SPDIF or ADAT optical inputs as well and with ADAT outputs you can access a wide range of external gear or route directly into a digital mixer. Whether you're tracking or mixing we have plenty of UAD2 plug-in power available with those four shark chips and you can expand that by adding a universal audio satellite or another interface. Whether you're a musician, a songwriter, an engineer, or a producer, the Apollo X4 makes a great centerpiece for your studio and it also makes a great portable recording solution. You've got plenty of power here with four shark chips, four microphone and line inputs, two instrument inputs, compatible with Mac and PC. The console software lets you take charge of all of the routing and all of the plug-in capabilities, and you can run everything else right from the front panel. It's a great solution for any size studio. I'm really excited about this interface. It brings together everything most of us need for our studios. It's a great solution. Be sure to check it out. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher.